So many highlights, so little time, but if you missed the 2022 Emmy Awards last night, we are here to tell you that you're in good hands, just like Allstate. TV's biggest night? More like HBO's. It left contenders in the dust with 12 wins, including for Best Drama Series, which went to Succession. The acceptance speech from creator Jesse Armstrong may have included a little royal shade, but you be the judge. Uh, big week for Successions. Um, New King in the UK, this for us. Uh, evidently a little bit more voting involved in our uh, winning than uh, Prince Charles. There was fierce competition for best actress in a drama, and in the end, Zendaya took home the Emmy, her second in a row for Euphoria. My greatest wish for, for Euphoria was that it could help heal people, and um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has shared their story with me. And all eyes were on outstanding comedy, which went to the Apple TV hit Ted Lasso, just like last year. The series also earned Emmys in the lead and supporting actor categories, beating out heavy hitters like Abbott Elementary, which gave wins to Quinta Bronson for comedy writing and to stage and screen veteran Cheryl Lee Ralph, who earned her first Emmy, becoming only the second black woman to win for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy. If there was a category for Best Acceptance Speech, Miss Ralph would have probably won it. I'm an endangered species. Netflix also made history last night with Squid Game. It's the first Korean series and the first non-English TV series to earn a major primetime Emmy Award. Star Lee Jung Jae became the first Asian to win lead actor in a drama series and ditto for creator Wang Dong Yuk in the drama series directing category. What's up, y'all? It's Lizzo. Lizzo won it for the big girls, literally. Her series Lizzo's Watch Out for the Big Girls landed her an Emmy for Outstanding Competition Program, ending the winning streak for RuPaul's Drag Race. The hit maker delivered an emotional speech calling for more representation. The stories that they shared, they're not that unique. They just don't get the platform. Telling stories. Let's just tell more stories. Comedian Gerard Carmichael accepted his first Emmy, shirtless, in a fur coat for his deeply personal special, Rothaniel. And we knew SNL funny man and host Keenan Thompson meant business when he opened the show with club-worthy remixes of classic TV themes, all of which deserve their own EPs. Okay, so we're just going to say that Keenan kept busy. He gave us a surprise reunion with Good Burger pal Cal Mitchell. His SNL family members passed him present, made a few appearances, including to accept the Emmy for Best Variety Sketch Series. So congrats to all the winners, all the nominees, and the plus ones. I'm usually the plus one. Or the crasher. Uh, it was a great night. Yeah. And, and, and the speech uh, by uh, Jennifer Coolidge cracked me up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so funny. Very good. Oh, did you thank